just wanna hold you I just wanna look into your eyes And tell you that I want you You know you make me feel so alive Can't stop thinking about you day and night Love it when you kiss me Love it when we touch Every time I'm down here you make me smile You're the solution everyone welcome back to my channel today we are just tackling this complete disaster of a home we are getting it ready to sell actually we are moving i said this in the last video so if you have not checked out that complete chaos cleaning motivation video go check it out i will link it down below as well as above here and we are just tackling all of the messes here because we have to get our house ready to sell by i think well not really yeah ready to sell because the realtor is going to come take pictures so we had to get ready for the realtor to come take pictures and videos and i will tell you what i was stressed we had to come back i had to get all the christmas decor down we had to finish the steps because we took off all the carpet and my husband put plank wood but we never stained and painted or anything so we had to get all that done i had dying plants everywhere from being with my family and just forgetting about them and then like i said a whole bunch of christmas decor to take down as well and my kids are home and my husband was working on the steps and it was just chaotic in this video and the last video and the next few videos because we are just getting everything that I can out of the way and I'm gonna pack some stuff in these videos but we're still waiting to see if we can get the military to move us instead of us moving everything ourselves it just depends my husband has to go and talk to whoever it is he has to talk to and we're just trying to figure all of that out right now so i haven't really started packing anything but i'm just condensing and making everything look really good and just hiding things it was just chaotic to say the least if you are in the mood for all of this complete chaos and disaster cleaning make sure that you are sticking along and watching until the end as well as hitting that subscribe button as well as the alert bell i have tons of content coming out i have been posting a lot to tiktok and my instagram as well little shorts i post some to youtube but mainly tiktok and instagram and there is just so much that i'm trying to get done i am so sorry for how chaotic it's been lately i'm trying to make sure i get back on my my schedule for youtube videos just getting everything i possibly can done but it is really hard as a working mom and having three children just oh my goodness military life is killing me right now i am thankful for it i'm not one of those spouses that complains i served my time in the military so i completely understand we can't control when we're moving it just stinks that we found out literally like two weeks ago so <laughs> we're gonna sell this home though fingers crossed pray for us that we sell this house very quickly because that is all we needed we did find a home yay i'm so excited to show you guys all of the home the new home because it is so pretty i am so excited to get in there and make it our own because i just love making a house a home for us because as military we move so often we have to make that time that we're there full of memories and just i love making my house conform to what we love and i did that with this house as you can tell there's lots of accent walls and the fireplace was redone the floors upstairs were redone the stairs and the back patio is amazing on this house i just love it but yeah, I know I'm rambling, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update. So we do have a house. Yes, it paid for it more than I wanted to, but it will be okay. God is up in God's hands. And if you don't believe in God, whoever's hands you believe in, I believe that as long as you put out good energy, you will receive good energy, if that makes sense. But anyway, let's just jump into this video and I hope you really enjoy it and get all of this cleaning motivation. The reason why I feel like I can fly Day and night, I love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution.
just wanna look into your eyes You know you make me feel like I'm alive my son Caden is three, so that's why his room is always a disaster. However, he's been sleeping in his brother's room. They will not sleep in separate rooms, especially coming back from Grammy and Pap's house where they had a bunk bed. So in our new house, I think I'm going to actually make them share a room because that's just how they're sleeping anyway. But you can see that my son Caden was in here because it looks like a tornado came through here and he definitely has a second child syndrome. So we are cleaning all this up. He did get a train table for Christmas. So there's that. I plan to get like some bins for under it so all the train stuff can go underneath and slide underneath the table and take up less space. But then the tent actually is broken. So I'm just throwing that out. Like there's no need to move with stuff that's broken. Here's some like pro tip or not really a pro, but someone who moves a lot in the military. Here's a tip. Don't take junk with you. Declutter your house before you move because it will save you so much time in the long run instead of waiting until you move and then you have to go through all the junk while you're trying to move in. It's just too stressful. I find it so much easier to just declutter and get rid of a whole bunch of junk before we move and that means toys, clothes, uh, kitchen stuff. I plan to kind of go through my house as well and get rid of things that we don't need or we have not used while I'm packing. I just feel like it's so much easier when you're packing a closet or when you're packing a room, you just get rid of the things while you're packing. It's just so easy, but I was just cleaning this up and with the realtor in mind, I was like, I don't want to have a whole bunch of clutter. So I got rid of a lot of stuff while I was cleaning. You are normally have different bedding on here like a form of white however my dogs I don't know what they're getting into or if there's mud outside or something but my other dog just keeps running in and jumping on my white bedding and I have to keep washing my bedding I literally washed it the day before this and I just got sick and tired of washing my laundry and washing my bedding and getting the mud out of my sheets so I kept my white comforter off my bed until right before the realtor came and I just left this like blanket that my husband got a very long time ago and it just was on our bed because it's warm and I'm freezing at night.
So our house actually does come with a dishwasher already in it. However, I don't know. I just can't part with this one. I felt like it was such a good dishwasher. Like we just got it in November. If you didn't watch my last video or the last several, we just had our dishwasher actually broke. So we had to get a new one and I just love this dishwasher and how it cleans. But if we have a new one, I feel like it's kind of pointless to take this one and buy another. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, what is your guys' like favorite thing about moving? If you've moved a lot or haven't moved at all, let me know down in the comments. Like what is your favorite thing about moving? Talk to me nice. I definitely need to invest in some like liners for the air fryer because I am so sick and tired of washing this thing all the time. It's not hard to wash. It's just I use it so often. Liners I feel like would just be so much easier. Yes, more expensive because I throw them away every so often. But still like this is just a pain in my butt sometimes when I just don't feel like cleaning this air fryer. <laughs> So this fall bin is actually all sorts of broken and it doesn't fit through the crawl space door we kind of had to shove it out. So I'm actually switching it into one of the Christmas bins I have because I got a Christmas bin and not realizing that it was meant 
for fall decor when I bought it. It's actually red. So I was like, I want to have it for Christmas because then we know at least know which one it is without having to open it. That's why I like the clear containers so much better because you can see what's in it. I do have them labeled, but I'll have to relabel some. But I'm just moving all of this fall into this other bin. And then I'm going to take this bin and get most of the toys because I'm throwing away the organizer in my son's room. It's just broken and falling apart. And I'll have to find something new when we move. But that's like the exciting part. I'm so excited to kind of organize and change and make a house a home. All of the fun things I get to do when you first move into a house. Like you get to figure out things and put things where you want them and get new ideas and storage. And that's the exciting part for me is getting to design my home and like change things around. However, I have been really thinking lately about overconsumption. Like when you watch TikTok and YouTubers, how you're always buying things. I feel like, like I'm always influenced to buy stuff. And like, yes, I do sponsored stuff. But I really don't be like, go buy it now. I feel like a lot of things you can do the same with what you have. But there are some really nice, nice products. I will say that. But I don't feel like you need to go buy it if you don't have the money to go buy it. And I feel like I've been kind of living up with the Joneses since I've started YouTube. Was trying to always get bigger and better and just buying things I shouldn't have been buying if that makes sense. So I am trying to cut back a little bit. I'm trying to be more realistic. Like I've always tried to be on this page. But just realize that we all struggle, especially in this time and age. I feel like most of us need some like just ideas that are affordable and helpful, not people who go and spend thousands of dollars on organization. Like that's way too much. I, I don't know how anyone does it. I do Dollar Tree, Walmart, anything that's on a sale. I I can't even buy a storage organizer of toys because I feel like they're really overpriced. <laughs> I don't know. This this freaking market right now is crazy. But I don't know. What do you guys feel like? Like, do you think I should keep going with the way buying a lot of stuff? Or do you think cutting back is better? Like, would you still watch it if I'm not spending tons of money on new stuff all the time? Like, just let me know. I, I'm not changing anything right now. And I'm not saying that I buy stuff just to buy it or that I always need this stuff. It's just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but <laughs> let's just get back to cleaning because I'm making no sense at this point.
this back patio along the tree line and just the fence and the yard i'm definitely gonna miss it it's been so quiet and it's been nice to have friends over and just have a fire and relax i really love what we did with this back patio i'm hoping that the next owners of our house will love it just as much as we have but i'm definitely gonna miss it i love just the way it feels outside i don't know I don't know. I, I'm going to miss this home a lot and that's okay. Like this is the first home we've ever owned. So that's why I think I'm a little bit more sentimental about it, but I'm just super excited for the next house and more projects. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along and i can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I watch you as you sleep You don't know I'm looking Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment we stay here forever I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together If I could stop the time, don't you know
But all the fun times we had, I'll never... We actually puttied this window and then I had to sand it and paint it. That's what I'm doing right now. But I was wiping all this stuff down after I already did this early in the video because we ended up sanding our stairs and oh my goodness, the amount of sawdust and dust everywhere. Whew, it was a mess. You can see it on my floor while I'm using my Bissell Crosswave to kind of vacuum here in a few minutes because it was just so bad. <laughs> That's why I had to wait to finish this video. Forget we will always share a bond no matter what because you have a piece of my heart. Someone don't help you when someone don't help you through the rain when feelings don't matter and everything's nothing but a game game just know that I'm with you just know that I'm with you through it all and I'm gonna be there whenever you win or if you fall That will bring us to the end of today's video. I appreciate you guys watching until the end and getting all of this complete disaster cleaning motivation. I hope that you will stay and hit that subscribe button as well as the alert bell. Check out some more videos if you're looking for more cleaning motivation, especially really any home or making stuff. That's all me. I appreciate you guys so much and I hope to see you guys back next time.